Bentley hits the entertainment bullseye every week with her hard riding. Street shooting. saying it was quiet. off of him, Tag, and take it inside. Oh, Dooley just feeling good, Annie, just like everybody else in Diablo, seeing as how we're all going to get rich. Well, that's still no excuse for shooting up the whole town, and I think you're being just a little bit previous, too, Buckhorn, about being rich. Annie's right. Till the mining company gives the word, we've got no guarantee that there'll be a strike in the new outcrop. Don't be a pessimist, Wiley. The old Laban Coyote mine is coming back to life again, and there'll be rivers of gold flowing right here through Diablo. Rivers of gold, huh? <laughs> that's plum poetical, Buckhorn. Yeah, well, I'll make a fortune on the stage alone, just hauling people in gold, instead of starving along on a mailing contract uh, uh, with a scarcely no mail. I sure hope you're right, Buckhorn. But no more celebrating until we get the news. How are you going to make a fortune when you're only the manager and Mike Dennis owns the line? But didn't Mike give me a quarter of the profits when he struck it rich and then moved to Boston to pick up some of that there Eastern culture? Yes, sirree. And a quarter will be plenty when the lame coyote opens up again. Buckhorn sure deserves some good years, after all the bad ones he spent managing that stage line. Yeah, he sure does. Find out anything, boys? Plenty. They're expecting a messenger with good news from the mining company. That won't do us much good, seeing the company owns all the land. Everything in town will be booming, but most of all, the stage line. So? So we're going to take it over. But how do we do that? Being a stranger in Diablo, Morgan, you can carry a message from the mining company just as well as anyone else. Only it'll be the wrong message. Buckhorn's mighty late getting back, Tag. I think I'll ride out and see if the stage broke down. You want to come along? Sure do. I'll race you out of town. OK. That'll be him. Mouth shut and you won't get hurt. Get this rig under cover, boys. Take him into camp. Well, according to this assay report, the lame coyote is going to be a bonanza again. And according to these papers, my name's Kramer, and I'm the manager of the mine. Look, Jack. How about 
minding your own business. Oh! Oh! Oh, the unmitigated impudence. Yes, I know. Whips are nice and ladylike, but guns aren't. Now, I just want you to tell me one thing, and that is, what are you doing up there, and where's Buckhorn? Yeah, At least why it was left of me. This is the end of the world. Sure, some odd goings on, all right. Odd? Odd ain't the word for it. That up there ain't just a girl. She's my boss. Your boss? Yeah, Mike Dennis's daughter. It says so right here in the letter she just brung out here from Boston. Mike said he made the mistake of giving her too much culture, and it spoiled her rotten. Father did not tell you to discuss me in public, you uncouth lout. You see what I mean? She thinks she owns the world, her pa says. Oh, just cool down, Buckhorn, and tell me what she's doing out here. Well, her pa said he couldn't handle her, so he cut off her allowance. He gave her the stage line, though. Now he wants me to teach her how to earn her own living and get some sense. Yes, he did give me the stage line, Mr. Buckhorn. But if you go on like this, perhaps I'll decide to engage another manager. And she can do it too, Annie. Right now, when we can get rich. Well, what is that fancied up stagecoach back there? Oh, that they call that a tally ho. The, the dudes ride around in it, get nowhere. And she wore out horses driving it for the hijinks. So Mike just sent the dead gum thing out here to use for a stage. My dear, you simply must have another cup of tea. It's so that? Well, it ain't a who, it's a what. It, 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 it's a bird, a big-nosed critter, meter and poison. The funny part about it, it talks better English than I do. Which is hardly a compliment, even to a parrot. A parrot? A real live parrot? Ah, how do you do, sir? My name is Ronald. Mine's Ted. Glad to meet you. Meet you. Meet you. Meet you, meet you, meet you. If you've quite satisfied your curiosity, perhaps you won't mind if my man and I go on our way? My man, that's me. You see what I mean, Annie? What on earth am I going to do? Oh, I guess you better just string along with the mine opening up. See you in town, Buckhorn. All right, if you say so. Sure is tough on poor old Buckhorn. Yeah, but he'll have fun with that parrot. Unspeakable mess. Oh, shut up, you loudmouth cousin to a chicken. I don't have to listen to your sass. I don't have to take your sass. Buckle, don't you dare teach Ronald your vulgar expressions. This room is positively revolting. Oh, it looks all right to me. See, I've been living back here behind the stage office for the last 25 years. You never cleaned it once. See, maybe you'll be more comfortable over at the hotel. When Father cut off my allowance, he meant it. I haven't any money. Well, then the only thing for you to do is to bunk here, and I'll bed down out in the office. How much does the stage line bring in a month? Well, on a, on a good month, I'll clean up around $40. $40? Yeah, but it's going to be different now, you see. Uh, when the mine opens up, like I told you, we'll be rolling in money. Money, money, money. <coughs> Popcorn, Miss Dennis, the man from the mining office is here. And he says to come right out. Whoopee! Whoopee! You catch on fast, Ronald. Whoopee! <coughs> Well, when did they start mining, Annie? We've been waiting for somebody from the mining company for an awful long time, Mr. Kramer. We sure have. I, uh, hey, I don't think the news I'm bringing is what you expect. Well, what's the matter? We had great hopes, but the assay didn't prove up. You mean you're not going ahead? Afraid not. It isn't worth it. Well, maybe the assayer didn't know his business. Now, I saw samples of that ore, and it was almost pure gold. It looked all right, but you can't always tell from the looks. That's why we have assayers. Rolling in money, indeed. I'm sorry to be carrying bad news, but the company sent me figuring it best to keep folks from counting on something that's not going to happen. If anyone is interested, my franchise and stage line are up for sale. Oh, wait a minute. You don't mean that. I most certainly do. Forty dollars a month. My father didn't intend for me to starve. I'll sell it and get enough to pay my fare back to Boston. And what about Buckhorn's job? He spent the greater part of his life nursing that stage line along. Buckhorn's problems aren't my concern. Well, Annie, what am I going to do? She'll have a tough time getting a buyer. She'll get no help from anybody in Diablo. Hey, maybe if I was real nice to her and worked real hard, maybe she'd change her mind. And something might still turn up, even if it wasn't the lame coyote. I'll help Buckhorn. Good idea, Tom. Hey, 
Hey, listen, Lofty. Just because she's being honored is no sign that we have to be. Let's all help her. Right. But we'll have this place spick and span in no time, Miss Patricia. We'll give you a hand, Miss Dennis. Give me a hand. What for? Out west, we believe in being neighborly. Nonsense. You're just trying to soft soap me, so I'll change my mind for Buckhorn's sake. Well, wouldn't you call that being neighborly? So Patricia Dennis will sell out dirt cheap. You're not very smart, Morgan. Suppose I went in and bought the line, and in a few days it was worth a mint. Lofty and Annie would be asking me questions I couldn't answer. But how are we going to get it? We can't keep Kramer on ice forever. It happens I know something about the franchise. We'll get it by default, that's how. Lofty, I've been thinking. It's funny about that mine manager coming here. Funny? <laughs> yeah, but it's funny as breaking a leg. Every leg in Diablo. Yeah, but why did the company care what we were hoping for in Diablo? And what's more, how'd they know? Just figured it out, I guess. Well, then why did they send a man all that way in a buggy when they could have written a letter? The letter would have been easier, all right, but... Eddie, Eddie, Lofty, come on outside. It's the funniest thing you ever saw. <laughs> Hurry up! <laughs> oh, Buckhorn. Oh, I can't help it. It is all her idea. Please get out of the way. All I'm supposed to do is to took this dad blame horn so that the whole shebang will look classy. Then maybe somebody will buy the line. Well, laugh. I don't see anything funny about it. Don't blow unless I tell you the horn frightens them. <laughs> <laughs> Should I get you dressed up like Buckhorn and blow that horn? <laughs> Good stagecoach. She's using it on the regular run. She must have the mail pouch. Get it. Whip up them horses, lady. Blow the horse. Throw him the mail sack and whatever else you've got. Take it, you beast. And there's nothing else. Look, is it bad? There's been times in my life that I felt better. I'll get you back to town. Can you hold on? I guess so. the doctor said, but he's sleeping now. Can we talk to you in the office? I'll take care of Buckhorn. Thanks, Patricia, for being so neighborly with Buckhorn. Well, what do you expect? I'm not inhuman, but I'm more determined than ever to sell out the first chance I get. You'll never sell if you don't keep the stage line running. I'll keep it running. I'll do my own driving. You'll need help. I'll ride gun guard with you. But if you do that, Lottie, the gang may not try another holdup. You sound as if you want them to. Oh, I do. We've got to find out who's behind this and why. So let's set a trap for them. A trap? Sure. When you ride out, Lofty and I'll follow. Keeping out of sight, of course. And then when they show up, we'll jump them. How charming. I just sit there and get shot. No, they won't shoot if you don't. Good idea, Annie. The only reason Buckhorn got plugged is because he fought back. Well, all right. But the sooner I get out of this, this jungle, the better I'll like it. She's ornery, but she's got spunk. Oh, if we could only talk her out of selling, it'll kill Buckhorn to lose that stage line. Yeah.
was over that ride. That's where it is. Penny, Lofty, am I glad to see you. What happened? I ran into a bunch wearing masks. They started throwing lead at me. Where are they? Well, they took off as soon as they heard you coming. Must have been the same gang that shot Buckhorn. It could be. We better get back, Lofty. Why don't you come on with us, Wiley? We're riding herd on the stage. You bet I will. A man isn't safe around here these days. Two holdups. The stupid, blundering idiots. Of all the incompetent, unreliable... Take it easy. I think I can guess. You were held up. You think? And where were you? Seems like the gang split up, Annie. Yes. I'm sorry, Miss Dennis. It just couldn't be helped. Wally, why don't you ride with her to finish the run? Lofty and I'd better stay here. I'd be very happy to. Finish it? What's the use of that? They took the mail pouch. Well, if you don't finish the run, it'll look like the line is out of business. And then you'll never be able to sell it. Well... All right. And I'm sure Mr. Wiley will give me better protection than you did. You're not very likely to be held up twice in the same day. But that gunfighter Wiley's could have been a decoy. That could have been. Ah, Wiley's a respectable rancher. But everybody knows he's lost a lot of money gambling lately. Why would he be holding up a poverty-stricken stage line? I don't know. But I aim to do some scouting around his ranch. Lofty, look. Buggy tracks way up here off the road. Sure are. How do you suppose... They're on Wiley's spread. Come on. mine manager's buggy. And that's Wiley's shack. Lofty, there's something big behind this, and Wiley. We've got to find out what and get the goods on it. Yeah, but how? We just rushing those hombres until we know what we're after. I've got an idea. Let's get back to town. And then they canceled the franchise. Three times and it's out. Three times and out. Three times and out. You know, we got to save the franchise. We got to keep it. We... Look, Horn, you should be sleepy. Oh, we got to keep the franchise. But we're going to keep it too. Huh? Oh, we lose it three times and. Oh, to... take this. Now we'll keep it. I know we'll keep three it. Three times and out. Right. Yeah, but... You talk too much. Now, what's this big idea? A telegram to the mining company to find out if that report was on the level. All right, then what? Well, I gotta admit, I don't really know, Lofty, but after seeing that buggy out on Wiley's place, I think that's the first thing we ought to clear up. Miss Patricia says to leave Ronald here tonight. He keeps waking Buckhorn up. Three times about. Ah, she's sore about being held up again. She's leaving Dablo tomorrow. Leaving? Yep, going back to Boston. Says she's given up the line. Well, that's the end of Buckhorn. Not necessarily. Here, Tag. Take this to the telegraph office. Now, quick. All right. We ought to have an answer on that before she has time to leave tomorrow. Patricia, you can't leave now. I'd like to know why not. We're waiting for a telegram that may change everything. No, I'm driving to Mineral City, and I'll sell the horses for enough to get back east. But Buckhorn... He's better this morning. I'll send him some money from Boston. Tag! Miss Patricia's let me ride with her and blow the horn. The mail box three times and they cancel the franchise. You hear that? He's picked that up from Buckhorn. Lofty we'll going in and find out if it's true. Let them cancel the franchise. I'll carry no more mail pouches. Now take it easy, Buckhorn. Easy. It's true, Annie. The contract says if we miscarry the mail three times, we lose it. 
No, we've missed twice right now. Sorry, but my mind is made up. Well, I, I guess that's the end of the stage line. And me. <laughs> Better get back in, Buckler. <coughs> Come on now. You think you're pretty good driving horses in this tally hole. I'll bet I can beat you to Mineral City driving the spare team and the stage. And what will you bet? Well, if I win, you keep the stage line for Buckaroo. And if I win? I'll be your lady's maid all the way back to Boston. That should be very amusing. All right, I'll be happy to give you a driving lesson. I'll hitch the spare team to the stage. No, I'll do that, Lofty. You take a posse and go on out to Wiley's place and keep those men pinned down there. Don't worry, I will. And good luck, Annie. Thanks, Lofty. Just as soon as I get the mayo pouch. And if I win, we're going to keep that franchise for Buckhorn. All right, I'm ready to go. I've been more than ready for quite some time. Who's going to give the starting signal? I will. One, two, three! <laughs> Not long, sister, but you're sure gonna have to wait. Danny, Wiley had the real mine manager locked in the shack. The mine's a bonanza. It's going to open! Oh, no! Hey! Hey! It's going to open! And we picked him up without any trouble. Here's our telegram, Patricia. It says just what Mr. Kramer here told us. I guess I owe you all an apology. But I'll make it up to Buckhorn. Whoopee! Whoopee! Now you're talking like Mike Dennis' girl. Whoopee! My dear, you simply must have another cup of tea. It's so refreshing. <laughs> 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 